guys welcome back this is still the screening room with a care so right now in the studio i have with me the one the only actor well he's not the only actor <laughs> but we now know the with actor dairy or thank you thank you thank you for coming thank you for having me it took forever to get dairy or Kolao. i mean dairy you remember all the messages we were exchanging <laughs> i was like dairy okay we are going to have our studio session next week then we like no i'm in ghana I can't shoot right now. Thank you for making it happen today. Thank I was you. actually scared you were going to cancel on me. No, no, no. I gave I'm my word. I here. always keep to my word. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Thank you for coming. Thank so you. how are you doing? I'm very well. I'm, I'm, I'm amazingly well. Good. Is there a particular reason for you being amazing? Yeah, uh, I am resting. <laughs> yes, oh. I, it's, been, it's been a very, very long year. Um, I just need to take some time off, mm -hmm. relax, you know, be with family, and mm -hmm. you know, just enjoy that non-filming time. So yes, it's been an amazing time. I like how you said be with family. Yes. So be with your wife, are we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes, gonna, yes, I'm gonna, be I'm, with my wife. Okay, I'm going to come to that. Um, but tell us a little bit. Recently, yeah. you celebrated your two years in industry. Yes, I did. So how, how did that make you feel? Did you have like a moment of revelation? Like, oh my God, I've been here for like forever. This and this has happened to me or something. Yeah. Uh, so what, what had happened was that... Uh, a few weeks ago, I came across the resignation letter that I wrote, you know. Really? Uh, yes, because I was working in corporate for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and then I, I decided it was time for me to do what I really loved doing. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, it was a big chance, big risk, but it was, it was something that I thought needed to be done. And so I came across the letter, and I realized that it was like a few days to, to make it a year, you know. And I was, yeah. I, so so I, I spent some time just reflecting, looking back, um, and it's been such an amazing, amazing journey. I, I am so grateful. I mean, I, that's I'm like, that was exactly how I was the day I saw the letter. I was like, wow, so much has happened in this short space of time. Right. So, how has it been? Has it been easy for your wife to kind of adjust to dealing with the attention you were getting from the ladies? And uh, did you have to have the conversation about that? Okay, so um, I, you see, I had a similar conversation recently with mm -hmm. uh, with a colleague of mine. And I said, and that's, this just totally captures it. Mm -hmm. And I said to him that I found out that I married the right person after I married her. Wait. She's, yes. You found out that you married the right person after you married her. Yes. Hmm, that's deep. So, um, <laughs> so I mean, we got married. I wasn't an actor yet, full right. time. Mm -hmm. um, I was dabbling. Uh, and now that I am, it just seemed like she fits right into my life you know mm. she's so supportive so encouraging um and she she's so confident mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. about herself and about our relationship and the strength in that relationship that mm -hmm. you know there are no insecurities that i have to be going to you know quell address. or you know just address this nothing like that well that's beautiful so we're friends we're best friends and you know that's it's, good it's pretty easy so dear me was currently in a i think i'm gonna call it a Ghanaian film i, I call them african films african african yeah, films. So, yeah. but if we wanted to strip it down we would say it was yes you'd say it came out of ghana so we shot it in ghana, yeah you yeah. shot it in ghana um titled if tomorrow never comes it was produced by Ivan nelson yeah. Uh, so tell us about If Tomorrow Never Comes. Ah, uh, wow. If, if Tomorrow Never Comes, <sighs> I don't even know where to start because I, I had gone to Ghana briefly for the Ghana Movie Awards. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I met a couple of people there. Um, that was when I found out that there was a project that Yvonne Nelson Productions was, was working on. Mm -hmm. And I reached out. Uh, and I got a call from Yvonne a couple of weeks later saying that, you know, she had a, a project coming up and she would like me to be in it. Uh, wow. She had seen stuff that I'd done. I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, interesting. Um, and then I asked her to send the script, which is really the first thing that I ask for whenever I get a call. Right. I'm like, can I see your script, please? And she sent me this script. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, you I just went it. crazy, you know, because I was like, this is exactly what I've been looking literally for. this goes beyond looking for this is literally mm -hmm. what I've been praying for you know oh wow um, and and, it, and when I got the script I, I told her I was in mm -hmm. um, and we you know, traveled to Ghana shot for a couple of weeks and came back um, now the story was about a young a young boy who had this disease um, mm -hmm. that 
cause him to be paralyzed. Right. Couldn't use his hands, his legs, you know, very hard to, to handle. Um, Yvonne had come across this kid and wrote a story, you know, that wasn't really about him, but, you know, just inspired, inspired, by, by, inspired him. by him. And he played the role of the baby, of the, you know, the sick baby. Oh, wow. The film, so his name is Kweku. Um, and then two weeks after we shot, um, Yvonne called to tell me that Kweku had passed on. You know, so I mean, that was that was a really, really trying period for everybody. You know, in um, in the yeah, film. Yeah, I can imagine. And but as the film progressed, as you know, when we got to edit, you know, post and everything, mm -hmm. it looked, I mean, it looked like we had done something, you know, beyond just a film, mm. and something that I just think Quick would be proud of. You know, oh, wow. yes, and his parents would definitely would find definitely. some kind of comfort from right. from seeing what he had done. Right. So it was a really, really interesting project. Oh wow. Well, we love you, and Thank we you. love watching your screen. Keep working hard. Keep going for it. My wife and, and I love you too. Oh, I'm <laughs> blushing. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Oh, one last thing. A word to your fans out there that they're like, damn. Do you have a word for your fans like the beehive or something like? No. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, one last word to your fans and watch you. Just a word for them. Those that love you. Ah, uh, thank you so much. I. I don't know that I could have done it without uh, the support and encouragement from everybody. I mean, um, people literally go up on my social media pages and they're always congratulating me and you know urging me on. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, and I would say that whatever your dreams are, um, please pursue them. You know, what's life if you don't enjoy it? So do what you really, really love to do. Uh, find a way. And all the best. Wow, that was beautiful. Thank you so much once again for Thank coming. You. The show isn't over. Remember, I still have one more movie review for you. Uh, Ruki Sondra's new movie called The Dark. Okay, sit tight and we'll be right back. I told you to read your Bible. Stripe for stripe. Wound for wound. Burning for burning. Tooth for tooth. An eye for an eye. A life for a life. Welcome back. So, Rookie Sonda is a Nollywood actress that we all know, turned producer, and now turned director and writer as well. She produced and directed a latest film, that's the movie I'm going to be talking about today, titled The Dark. Now, the movie features Rookie Sonda, Van Vika, and Mona Lisa Chinda. The movie was about a particular young lady who had a daughter that um, got into an accident, some sort, some sort of domestic accident, and then unfortunately was rushed to the hospital too late and died. So the mother, played by Rukisonda felt that the doctor was responsible for her daughter's de death. So she made it her life's mission to take revenge uh, for her daughter's death, right? I'm giving this movie one over five. I thought it was an absolute waste of time. I did not like it one bit. And here is why. If I, you know what? Let me just tell you the first thing I liked about it, which was the only thing I liked about the movie. It was the casting. I mean, you know, Van Vika is a good actor. Mona Lisa Chinda is a good actor. And then, you know, you have Kisona in the film as well. So that, that was good, right? Until you started watching the movie and you're like, okay, what is going on here? Number one, the storyline. It was a tad bit um, confusing because... He, he, they, they didn't expand on a lot of details that needed to be expand, expanded upon. So the storyline was not expanded upon. It was just very basic. Oh, I had a daughter and she got in a domestic accident and then I'm now bitter. Why? You know, it seemed unrealistic. And then another thing was the costumes were very elaborate. Like, oh, I was just like, <laughs> I was just like, what the heck is going on here? And I watched it at the cinema. So I could actually hear other people saying, uh, what's all this now? Oh, what? You know, you, you could hear them grumbling and they weren't enjoying it because it was just all too much. It was almost as if they were trying too hard. And then it was very boring. You know, we were just sitting there waiting for something to happen. I mean, we all knew what was going to happen at the end, but we were just kind of there going through the motions. You know, the child actor wasn't particularly a good actor. They had continuity issues. How are you going to tie... Oh, let me tell you. Are you going to tie my hands in front, right, and put uh, whatever tape over my mouth? And I'll say, oh, I'm scared. I'm in a room. I can't uh, untie myself. 
How does that work? My hands are tied in front for freaking sake. I can remove this. <laughs> I can remove the, the tape over my mouth, untie myself, and, and exit or run away or whatever. But no, you know, continuity issues. They didn't pay attention to details. The, the, the places they were supposed to pay attention to, which was the storyline and the directing and the acting, they didn't pay attention to it. And then I personally believe that Ricky Sunday needs to start delegating. You know, there, there's only so much you can do in the movie. She executed produced a produced directed wrote screenplay and then she was the lead actress as well just let us sink in so you understand where i'm coming from so it was like she had so much going on and she was so busy herself that she could not pay attention to the tiny details in the movie and then of course the, the story was unrealistic how many doctors go out of their way to check on their patients oh i have something there's this something about this patient i'm going to go and look for her at home and tell her oh, whenever she needs me you know i'm going to go out of my way how many doctors do that you know it was just unrealist and then the ending was very nollywood ish let me put it that way because there's someone dying and you're saying no i didn't kill your daughter oh you killed my daughter is going to die you know <laughs> it was just, just i was just like oh lord oh lord get me out of here I, I, i'm telling you dark was not a good movie at all i personally thought it was just a waste of time it was another one of rookie saunders production that she um, did not delegate and she did not take time to produce as well so that's my very own opinion of the movie dark should you watch it it's on you i have no answer in it <laughs> don't ask me i've said my piece okay Wow, that's it for the very first episode of The Screening Room with Adini here. Wasn't that exciting? I had so much fun talking to you guys. Anyway, remember to continue the conversation with me on social media at TSR with Adini here on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Or if you want to send an email, send it to TSR with Adenike at gmail.com. All right, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely love you guys. I can't wait to see you again next week. Remaining God, God bless you. Bye <laughs> bye.